All right, it's time to conclude the Evil Dead trilogy with Army of Darkness. We're going to skip the recap and pick up where Ash falls through the portal. The wise man believes that Ash is the one written in the book that will fall from the heavens and deliver them from the terrors of the dead eyes, but Arthur thinks that Ash is one of Henry's men. You miserable bastard! Get off of me! Let's just say that Ash does not get a hero's welcome. Henry tells Ash who he is, but Ash is not impressed. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. One of Henry's men get thrown into the pit. Unfortunately for Ash, he is the next one up. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Poor Ash. I, I never even saw these assholes before. Ash gets hit in the head with a rock and thrown into the pit. The wise man throws Ash's chainsaw down into the pit. It's showtime. Ash escapes the pit. He punches Arthur and trolls this guy. You want a little? Ash helps Henry and his men escape, but Arthur is not done with Ash. I shall see you dead. Then we get this line. This is my boomstick. Ash finishes off the pit witch. The wise man tells Ash that the Necronomicon can send him back. You shall die! Ash is not having any of that. Yo, she bitch. Let's go. Let's just say that Ash is now a complete fucking badass. With help from the blacksmith, Ash gets a metal gauntlet. Groovy. Things between Ash and Sheila are getting hot and heavy. Give me some sugar, baby. Before Ash journeys to find the book, the wise man tells him that he must recite these lines before he picks up the book. Klatu Verata Nikto. Again! I got it, I got it! Ash takes shelter after being chased by the evil force. <laughs> he breaks glass and this happens. <laughs> after putting Ash through all kinds of hell, one of the little ashes jumps inside of his mouth and this causes another ash to grow. They separate, and the evil Ash is taunting and attacking Ash, but let me just tell you, that doesn't happen for very long. <laughs> then we get another great one-liner. Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Ash dismembers and buries evil Ash. Hey, uh, what's that you got on your face? Huh? Ash did not have any luck with the first two books, but when he goes to grab the third one, he remembers that he has to say the words, but he forgot the very last word. Klaatu, Miranda, <laughs> Obviously, it didn't work. Not only is the army of the dead awoken, but evil Ash is back. <laughs> Ash finally makes it back and he delivers the book to the wise man. When thou spoke the words, the army of the dead awoke. Everyone is clearly upset at Ash, which they have a right to be because he pretty much doomed them all. Ceremony and the uh, wretched excuse for a man. Sheila gets captured by the winged deadite. <laughs> Ash quickly has a change of heart. Now, who's with me? One by one, the men agree to join Ash in battle. I'll stand by you. You can count on my steel. Whoa, 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 wait one minute. Ted Raimi, weren't you just another character begging for your fucking life? This one was After a little bit of training and ingenuity, the battle has now begun. They're coming! The dead eyes After a little bit, the army of the dead finally breaches the castle. 
Ash has a trick up his sleeve. He breaks out the death coaster. Say hello to the 21st century. Yeah! Ah! What was that? Is that a bird? Is that a plane? No. It's Henry the fucking Red. Ah! Ash and Sheila have an encounter. Honey, you got real ugly. After taking care of Sheila, Ash and Evil Ash begin the battle. You're pissing me off, you ugly son of a bitch! After a pretty long battle, Evil Ash gets control of the book, but he makes one mistake. He gets a little too cocky. Sorry, pal. The battle is over. The army of the dead have been defeated, but Arthur and Henry's men have a standoff. Ash drinks a potion and returns back to his time, but a Deadeye appears and tries to attack. And then we end the film with this. Hail to the king, baby. So that was Army of Darkness. Now I know this was a lot of people's introduction to the character of Ash and to the Evil Dead series because with the title being Army of Darkness, a lot of people didn't know that this was the third part of a trilogy. Now for me, this film is radically different from the Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 to where it could stand alone and be its own thing, but when you watch it as a trilogy, I really like how different this one is. They didn't go, you know, hey, let's just do the third movie same setting, in a cabin, they really took the character of Ash and threw him into a completely uh, different situation where he is the fish out of the water. Obviously, this is a horror comedy where the comedy definitely outweighs the horror by a good margin. I think Evil Dead 2, The Return of the Living Dead, those are probably my favorite horror comedies with how you know equally they are balanced between the horror and the comedy. This one is the totally opposite end of the spectrum, but I love it for that reason because of how, how goofy and over the top it is. And you have the character of Ash being at, to me, probably his prime with his one-liners and all of these cool moments that happen throughout the movie. I feel like even though a lot of people may not enjoy this movie as a whole, you can't really disregard that this movie has some of the best scenes of the entire franchise that includes the character of Ash. Hey, Let's talk about the characters other than Ash. You have Arthur, Henry, Sheila, the blacksmith, the wise man. Ted Raimi playing like 15 different roles in the movie, which I thought was fucking hilarious. I really enjoy the characters overall in Army of Darkness. And I gotta mention, Evil Ash. I thought it was really cool that Bruce Campbell got to play this role. He really hammed it up. I love Goody Little Two Shoes. This is my favorite incarnation of the Evil Ash character because of how funny and entertaining he is in this movie. And a really good design as well. This might have the best soundtrack out of all of the Evil Dead movies in my opinion. Uh, some of my favorite tracks are March of the Dead, Building the Death Coaster, and The Pit, which there's a few more that I really enjoy. But I wanted to highlight those. I think those are really, really good tracks. And uh, yeah, overall, very bombastic, very epic uh, feeling to the soundtrack. And I feel like that really does fit with the third film in a trilogy. This movie has some of my favorite Deadites of the entire Evil Dead series. You have The Witch, The Pit Witch, and the winged Deadeye. Those are probably my three favorite, but I gotta give a shout out to the Deadeye at the main end of the movie. She was looking pretty rough. So Deadeye design definitely gets a thumbs up. Without question, I definitely recommend Army of Darkness if you love over the top, goofy movies with great one-liners and great action scenes. Definitely check it out. All right then. I guess that's it. <laughs>